Hashi lymphoma is very highly curable. Uh, the statistics are between, I've seen everything between 60 and 90 percent curable, which is fantastic um, for those who are cured on frontline treatment. But that still leaves a good percentage of people like myself who have um, what's called refractory Hodgkin lymphoma, um, meaning very prone to relapse and quick relapses, that are left um, without a good treatment option. And that's a situation that's not okay. And I, I do believe there needs to be a lot more research that's poured into Hodgkin lymphoma um, to make the frontline treatment more tolerable for people. Um, ABVD, which is what I went through and, and many Hodgkin lymphoma patients go through as frontline treatment, is not as tolerable as it can be. And these new novel therapies that are being developed um, are very important to be able to treat this cancer in a way that's not debilitating uh, all the rest of the person and um, making it difficult to go through. Um, when people refer to it as an as an easy cancer, um, that can be very frustrating to hear because no type of cancer is easy to go through. Um, the treatments are tough. Uh, it's difficult emotionally, physically, mentally. It's tough on your family and um, affects your whole life and your whole being. Um, so no matter no what, no matter what type of cancer someone has, what stage it's at, how short or long their treatment span might be, um, it's still a really difficult thing to go through um, and shouldn't be. You know, uh, talk down to as being something that that's easy or, or simple to overcome. Um, so it is, though it is um, very curable for many. Again, there's still some that it's not cured for, and we're fortunate to have the options of stem cell transplant and donor stem cell transplant. Um, but the hope is that with more clinical trials and more patients willing to participate in those trials, that there'll continue to be new drugs on the horizon for this disease. Well, I think you just, when you get diagnosed, you're obviously going to trust the statistics because you just want to believe that you're going to get better. And well, my doctor said that Hodgkin's has a 90% cure rate, especially for young people. Um, and I was obviously going to believe that. And as far as I'm aware, the treatment I was on was working. It's just that they didn't realize I had non-Hodgkin's as well. But if I just had the Hodgkin's, I would have been put into remission a lot faster. Um, but the non-Hodgkin's was just like an extra complication. Um, but yeah, I agree that there is no easy cancer and that's what annoys me with my friends because I would say that it has such a high cure rate and they'd be like, oh, well, that's the good one then, isn't it? Compared to, I don't know, getting like lung cancer or something where the prognosis is really bad, but it's sort of, well, you still have to go through the treatment. It doesn't make it, it's still cancer. It's, you're not thinking, oh yeah, I'm so glad that I got this one because it's treatable. You just, there's no such thing as easy cancer. It doesn't matter if it's stage one or stage four it's it's still cancer it's not good yeah speaking about lymphoma and um the cure rates it's it's very curable and that's the first thing that my doctor said to me when i got diagnosed so i was very happy but when people call it an easy cancer i i don't understand how people say that and i, I understand that um, if a loved one or somebody close to you has been diagnosed with cancer, with Hodgkin's lymphoma or lymphoma in general, um, you know, it's, it's not like a brain cancer that's, um, you know, that it's going to attack that part of you and it's going to be fast acting and all that. It's a very slow moving, slow acting cancer. So it's good to catch it in time. Um, so I, I understand that people say, you know, it's an easy cancer because they want to cope and they want to tell someone that it's going to be okay. But if people are kind of brushing it off and they're like, oh no, she just has lymphoma, mine, she'll be okay, she'll get through the treatment and it'll be gone. Just seeing all the stories um, like Karen's that they have relapsed. It's, it's a scary thing because even just through the treatments, they warn you about the chemotherapies and radiations and all the other um, treatments out there will affect you and you could either relapse with the lymphoma or with another type of cancer. So I don't think that, I do think that it is um, curable, but I don't think it's as curable as they say because of the remission facts. Like there's tons of people out there who have um, relapsed and it's it's a scary thing because you you have this easy cancer as they say and you think it's out of the way and then 
you either relapse or develop another cancer through the treatment. So it's, uh, it's scary.